Hi everyone, this is Jiyang Her. I will be doing my informative speech. Regardless of the extremely low population growth rate, young South Koreans are all over the world. Almost every college has Korean students who have studied abroad from the early age, and I myself am one of them. There is huge benefit to students studying abroad from early ages. However, just like famous Indian, there are two sides to every coin. These advantages do clearly exist as well. Students become fluent in using foreign language a lot easily, but the cost of sending young students overseas is very expensive. And there is high possibility of children getting a mental illness. As mentioned earlier, many Korean students and many Korean parents send their children overseas. Among many, one of the biggest benefits is that it can help them to become fluent in a foreign language. In Korea, children generally study English throughout their whole middle and high school years as well as in universities. According to the Ash Higher Education Report, improving foreign language proficiency has long been a major goal of study abroad. Especially in Korea, this goal of studying abroad is what majority of people want desperately. By living life interactively and taking classes in the foreign language from early age, those who study abroad improve their foreign language skills rapidly and they become fluent much more easily compared to those in Korea. First, according to the significant benefit, the cost of sending overseas is very expensive. According to YBM Pre-College Studying Abroad Center, which is a famous center in South Korea that sends numerous students overseas, the minimum cost of sending one child, one child over to United Kingdom for a year is around $36,000 to $46,000. Here is my uh, chart of sending a child overseas to UK. It is posted on the YBM Center website. And if you see here, uh, application fee for the school is $50 to $200. And tuition would be $20,000 to $25,000 and like uniforms and textbooks and extra curriculum activities would be $300 to $400 and of course they will need their own pocket money which will be generally $1,700. This high cost of studying abroad becomes burden on parents and as well as on children. I personally have one friend who has done early studying abroad too. As I spent time with her, I noticed her worries. She calculated even the tiniest spending and always, always hesitated and feared before spending. Another huge risk of sending children overseas is the possibility of children getting a mental illness. According to Sonny Jung, the director of Korean Culture Center of UIUC, the students go through a lot of culture shock and there are times they don't feel like they can fit into either society. Some children get abused in home states. For, they face racial discrimination and they get bullied at the school. At a foreign country with no one to hold on to, Many of those lonely students easily fail to overcome the tough obstacles. Instead, they run away by drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, abusing drugs, or focusing on computer games, or on other entertainment. While these behaviors can conduct expulsion from the school, children still get attracted to those prohibited actions with unstable mental conditions. As mentioned so far, both advantage and disadvantages clearly exist in early studying abroad. Naturally built uh, foreign language skill is strong benefit by the expensive cost and obstacles that lead young children to get mental illness are intensive disadvantages of 
or with charging approach. Both advantage and disadvantages clearly exist in our studying abroad. So, player consideration on both sides of outcomes are needed as long as, uh, <laughs> along with the in-depth research on the targeted country and closer examination on children's mental conditions. Thank you for listening.